Hello techies. Welcome to our brand new video series focused on helping you get the most of your experiences in life. Before we start the video, let's know about Uptalk. Uptalk is a live, interactive platform for software training, furnishing robust personalities who could take on universal business platforms. I will just try to unzip that file. Just give me a moment. Okay. Okay, now what I will do. I will go back here and I will open this. Just give me a moment. This open correctly or not. Okay, so now again I will go back here. I open this file. I will go to the user here. Okay, now I have to use the proxy with the help of CSV. So what I will do. When I went into the proxy management, I have used the username, but when I will go to the CSV I will not use the username, but I will use the user ID. Okay, so I have to copy the user ID of the proxy user. And I have to go into the role of the manager that is Lachana. Scroll down. And I have to go at a place where you can. We have seen the proxy, that is, the column number AG. Okay, and I have to paste it there. Okay, I have to paste it there. The user ID. Here. I'm not taking username. I have taken the user ID. This is the third method which I'm doing. So I have saved it. Okay, the copied the proxy user ID. I saved it here. And I will just close it. Okay, now I will go back here. I need to import it. So how I will import it? I have downloaded it from employee export export user. Now for importing. There is a configuration tool. Just try to remember all this configuration tool. Import employee data. Now going into import employee data. We have saved some file right. You have updated the user ID and saved it. So that file will act as a basic input. So here select entity, select basic import. And always remember the CSV format that supports with the file encoding as UTF-8. Okay, and then go to the downloads. I have the downloads. I will open it here. Select that file, open it. It is showing the extension of CSV format. So it is a master sheet which we are importing. So there is no requirement for the validation. You can click on import. So you can see, a file has been uploaded into the server successfully and will be examined.
Okay, so the file has been uploaded successfully. So to check it in that file, what we have done. We have configured the proxy. With the help of user ID. Now the proxy is working successfully or not, so go here. Type, proxy management. And just scroll down. And just try to search here if it is done or not. So we will go with. And Venkatesh and then try to search for the account folder. Can you see here? The import, which we have done with the help of the import. Again it is showing here because in the initial proxy management we have deleted it. Now, again with the help of the CSV import. It is already done. Can you see here? Yes. Okay. I'm selecting this option again and I'm deleting it. I have deleted it. Okay, this is a third method. Okay, now you have a fourth method. So here you are uploading directly the master sheet. Now, if you don't want to upload the master sheet, you want to download a template. How you will use the template. So for that again, I will go back here and search for proxy import. Okay, now you can see. The download template option is there. Let me see the download template option. You have to download the template, a blank CSV template. I'm opening the template. So can you see the template? That is a blank template. Can you see here? Okay, so in the blank template, the first, a column, user ID, specifies the account holder's user ID, manager's user ID. Okay, then you have a proxy ID. Proxy ID is the person who is being nominated as a proxy. Okay, these are the two areas which we need to work on. And then, what is the permission? What is the grant? What is the permission you are granting that you need to select from? So when I go here. Okay, so the first one we need to do and the second one. So when you are using a template, so here you can use it for multiple users, bulk users. You can use the proxy to the users at a bulk level. Got it? So how you will go and do it again? You need to. Download, the suppose you are now you are. Opening the sheet and I want to take the user ID. Okay, so I want to take the user ID that is I'm copying. I'm copying the user ID here. Okay. I'm going here and I'm just specifying the user ID and proxy ID. Okay, proxy ID. I'm just going here. Copying the proxy ID. And pasting it here. And what is the permission I want to give? I want to give it to all. Then I have to select as yes. 
if I want to only give it to a particular function or feature, I have to go there and specify as yes, like this, how many user IDs and how many proxy IDs. You can able to do it on a bulk. You can able to do it and click on save. And close it. Okay, after closing it, what you need to do? You need to import it, go back here, go back to this particular screen. You choose the file. Select the file. This is the file. And select the file encoding as UTF-8. And you can see, extension is CSV and import it. Click on the import. You can see the upload file has been accepted and is being processed. Okay now, if it is done or not, what you need to do, you again go here, go to the proxy. Go to the proxy management. And come. Please do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. For more information, contact us at sales at the rateuptalk.com.